So now that we know roughly what a joule is, let's look at the energy associated with living things. Our bodies get all the energy that they need from the chemical energy in the food that we eat. The chemical energy we take in is called our energy intake. This energy is then converted by our bodies into kinetic energy, heat energy and other forms of energy as we do all the things that we do. The amount of energy that we use is called our energy expenditure. But how much energy do we use in doing the things that we do? Right now, if you're sitting down watching this program, you're using about, about 100 joules of energy per second. It depends on things like your size, your fitness level, your sex, how hot or cold you feel, and other factors. But as I said, if you're sitting down watching this program, you're using about 100 joules of energy per second. And what is the energy being used for? Well, for example, your brain is controlling the things happening in your body. Your heart is beating, your breathing, the food that you ate earlier is being digested, and you're generating heat energy to maintain a constant body temperature of about 37 degrees Celsius. In fact, about three quarters of the chemical energy that we take in is used specifically to generate heat. Mammals, including humans, are what we call endothermic or warm-blooded which means they, or we, maintain a constant body temperature. The advantage of being warm-blooded is that you're always ready to do whatever you need to do, even in freezing conditions. The disadvantage is that you have to eat more food to gain the energy you need to generate the heat. Many animals, however, like reptiles for example, are ectothermic or cold-blooded. Many reptiles move really slowly when it's cold and have to warm up in the sun before they're ready to attack their prey. However, a crocodile, for example, that has the same mass as me, 85 kilograms or so, which would make it a very small crocodile, would only eat about one quarter of what I eat, because it doesn't need the extra energy intake to generate heat. So, if sitting down we use 100 joules of energy per second, what amount of energy do we use in one minute? Well, quite simply, 100 joules per second times 60 seconds, which equals 6,000 joules or six kilojoules. We use about six kilojoules of energy per minute just sitting down. Standing, not surprisingly, requires a little more energy per second than sitting does, about 120 joules per second. Walking requires even more. The faster you walk, the more energy you need per second. Running requires still more energy per second. But it's interesting to note that on a bike you need less than half the number of joules per second than you do running at the same speed. But how do they calculate the amount of energy that people use to do various things? Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Shedding Light on Energy Episode 2, Measuring Energy. The three-part Shedding Light on Energy series allows teachers to teach the topic of energy really easily, without actually using much energy. With a perfect mix of biology, chemistry and physics, we explore every aspect of energy, including what it is and how we measure it. In episode 2 of the series, Measuring Energy, we begin by looking at the joule, the unit for energy. We then look at how much energy is stored in different foods by comparing apples and oranges, normally a no-no, and we discuss how much energy we need to do things, including nothing much at all. We then explore the concept of energy balance and reveal the two simple rules for weight loss. That's right, there are only two. And if someone does lose weight, where does all the fat actually go? Our highly visual approach to educating students, combined with perfectly structured activity sheets, allows them to learn far more easily and far more effectively, with a lot less effort from the teacher. And who doesn't want that? You can read a transcript of the video that has dozens of screen grabs and download the student activity sheet on our website at www.liakoseducationalmedia.com. So visit us today.